Welcome to lesson two. I've decided to talk about the demonstrative adjective today. And just to be clear, I am assuming that we all know the descriptive adjective, the usual adjective of which the definition is an adjective modifies or describes a noun or pronoun. The more specific we get, such as the demonstrative adjective, we'll change the symbols, but I am assuming that we all know the descriptive adjective symbol, which is this guy right here. So let's talk about the demonstrative adjective. A demonstrative adjective is a special adjective that identifies something as near or far in space or time. This and that are for singular nouns. These and those are for plural nouns. Demonstrative adjectives always come before other adjectives in a phrase. So for example, this blue button. So they are always going to be the first adjective in a phrase with other adjectives. Our symbol for the demonstrative adjective is this guy here, the adjective symbol. And when I created this for my Montessori works, I decided to put a article symbol in there, the light blue for the symbol for the demonstrative adjective. I think I did it because of the TH. It just likes like these. I, I just thought that that would just be a way to remember what kind of adjective it is, is because it's got the and these. So that's why I did that. My example is these boys ate that chicken pot pie. So these is my demonstrative adjective. Boys, right? Modifies boys. Which boys? These boys. Ate, obviously, is my verb. That modifies pie. But we also have two other adjectives. Chicken, pot, pie. Yes, even though a chicken can be a noun and a pot can be a noun, in this sentence, in this particular sentence, they are adjectives. That's one thing we always have to remember is that words that sometimes are nouns can also be adjectives. It all depends on the sentence. And please remember that this and these apply to things that are near and that and those apply to things that are far. And the sentence above, these boys are nearby while that chicken pot pie is farther away. Let's do some examples here. This is my favorite part. So those girls need to stop playing that game. Well, we know this is oh, what's happening here. There we go. Put this one here. Those girls is our noun. sometimes pop up so I'm gonna put that there need oh, put it a little closer need copy that here and I love doing this sort of presentation because what I'm also using this to do is to teach you other grammar symbols to stop is what we call it's a verbal it's what we call an infinitive to stop Make it the same size as the verb. That's about right. To stop playing. Hmm. Those girls need to stop. So to stop is your infinitive. The word to isn't always a preposition, kids. Playing. Hmm. This is also another verbal. This is the gerund. Gerund is when a verb is standing in for a noun the ing form that game looks like we got another demonstrative let's get that over a little bit yeah, i guess that's okay and game game is our common noun okay so those girls need to stop playing that game so we got a little extra here with the infinitive and the gerund, but we definitely need to label our friends the demonstrative adjectives. And let's see here, those is a demonstrative adjective. I don't like it when that period happens. That is another demonstrative adjective. Look at that, very nice. So let's go to the next one. This assignment is fun. Hmm. Well, this, that, these, those, we can memorize that. Ah, get it, that. Ah. In that case, it's a pronoun, though. This assignment, assignment is our noun. 
Oh, it looks like I need some more space. See if I can get even closer. There we go. Is. All right, we learned from the last presentation, though, that is is a linking verb. Do we have any linking verbs here? Nope. So I go up to my trusty symbols, go to my verb symbols, find my linking verb. But before I do, scroll back, pop my linking verb on there, size it down properly. Is is a linking verb. Come on, friend. There you go. And fun. Fun is a regular descriptive adjective. However, it's following a linking verb, so following our other lessons on attributive or predicate, we know that fun is in fact a predicate adjective. All right, so this assignment is fun, and I'm going to go with this is a demonstrative adjective, and because I'm just in the mood for a little extra credit here, I don't like that it does that. I'm going to say fun is a predicate adjective. You don't have to do that. I just did that for fun, just to show that it's fun. All right, so next sentence. Those soccer, those soccer balls are very deflated. deflated. That makes Mr. Adam very sad. Doesn't like deflated soccer balls at all. Wants to play. All right, but isn't soccer a noun, Mr. Adam? Isn't soccer a noun? Well, I needed more space here. There we go. It is sometimes, but in this case, it is modifying what kind of balls they are, soccer balls. So those soccer, which is going to be a regular adjective, descriptive adjective, up a little bit make it look good there we go R looks like we've got another linking verb the verb to be is a linking verb deflated deflated we could get very specific here I call that a participle it could be a past participle or we could treat it like an adjective uh, we probably should play it safe and go with a past participle here Participle is this symbol here. Okay. And very, very can modify anything that's acting like an adjective or anything that is acting like an adverb or anything that is acting like a verb. It's an adverb. So do we have any adverbs to choose from? Nope. So let's go back up, find our trusty adverb symbol, put it right there. There we go. So adverbs can modify participles because participles are verbs that are acting as adjectives. A gerund is a verb acting as a noun. An infinitive is the most primitive, primitive form of the verb, and it can be treated like a noun in a sense. And <clears throat> deflated, like I said, is a participle verb acting as an adjective. So like I said, kids, this is a fun way to get a little extra learning along the way. So let's do those in this one, descriptive adjective. And I think that's it for that one, okay? If you want to, you can go and you can label some of these parts of speech, participle, if you want. I'm gonna be teaching you guys these parts of speech for a long time. It, it's, Helps to start now. So I need to buy that computer case at this store. Hmm. All right. So I, I is a, that's right, pronoun. Every time I put the pronoun down, it's big. Yeah, there it is. Hello. So I, looks like we need a little more space here. I think I'm just going to move this thing. Okay, I need, so I need, okay, I don't need that anymore, 
regular verb. And to buy. Remember this, what this was called? Sometimes the word to is not part of a prepositional phrase. That's right, it's an infinitive. Take our infinitive, to buy. And infinitives can get way more complicated than this, but this is the most simple one, the present, uh, indicative, the present infinitive. That computer case. All right, so we know that this is a demonstrative. And computer, isn't that a noun? Well, it can be. In this case, it's an adjective because it's modifying the case. Case is our noun. What are you buying? A case, not a computer. Be very specific. Every sentence has its own logic. Do I need a preposition symbol? Because I am at the store. Yes, I do. Go back to my symbols. Pull out the preposition. Like the pronoun, it likes to get be really big. At this store. Okay, this demonstrative. Oh, I don't want that. Store, copy that, paste that. And there you have it. So we have, there we go. We have, I need to buy that computer case at this store. And in this case, that demonstrative adjective, this demonstrative adjective. The demonstrative adjective, kids, to be honest, is one of the simpler ones because literally it's only four words. But you need to know it because there are other adjectives and you need to know that the demonstrative is always the one that comes first if you have a list of adjectives. I'm not going to say blue this button. I'm going to say this blue button. Should the kids be in the pool? Well, this time of year, no, probably, but in the summertime, definitely. So should those kids be in the pool? Now, there's a, this one's a question. So this is interrogative. This is interesting. So let's think about this. Let's identify the parts of speech that we know first. Well, those we know is our demonstrative adjective, right? Okay. And kids, we know, is a noun. Okay. Now, pool, we know, is a noun. So that one we can put. And it looks like I need more space. The, we know, is our good friend, the article. Are there any articles? Oh, no articles in this one. So I'm going to have to get my article. There we go. Okay, in, word of relationship, looks like that's a preposition. Okay. All right, so now I got two words left here. Should be, interesting. Well, this is where we go to our verb symbols and we look at our auxiliary verb. Our auxiliary verb is a helping verb and should is an auxiliary verb. It actually is all about the subjunctive mood. That's something a little more complicated. But the subjunctive mood and some of the other conditional type statements are symbolized with the auxiliary or helper verb. B, we're going to do the regular verb symbol here, should be. Um, actually, I don't need that. I just need to copy the one I've already sized down. B. And because I'm a little out of space here, move those over just a little bit. I need to go even further. It's not always perfect. All right, should those kids be in the pool? Question mark. All right, should they? We don't know. All right, so these, I get it. These are the ones we practice. These examples, I should say. These examples are the ones that we practice that I will leave for you when we do the follow-up. The follow-up is to do these sentences. I get it. Try these at home. <laughs> um, these sentences, although it should be sentences. 
because otherwise it's a demonstrative pronoun. Try these sentences at home. We have the example, those happy crickets chirp during the night, and I have those as my demonstrative adjective, and then I have these other example problems down here for you to do. I gotta try to get them all back on one page. Did I get them back on one page? Nope, but that's okay. We will just have to make do. So anyway, kids, this was a lesson on the demonstrative adjective, okay? The demonstrative adjective, this, that, these, those. Very important adjective, very fun adjective. Once you learn this one, this one's probably the easiest of the different adjective types. I also decided to go over a few other parts of speech just to give you some introductions to them, introductions to them the infinitive, the gerund, the participle. We also looked at adverbs a little bit, and we're looking at adjectives that sometimes look like nouns, but they're not. And we've got some prepositions here as well. So that is that for this kid. I, kids, I will put this in your classroom. I hope you enjoyed this video. Love the demonstrative adjective. Enjoy your follow-up activity. Have a great day.